Hi there, I'm Matthew from Patchworks, and in front of me today I have the Bleep Bloop 2000 by Tim Held of Podular Modcast and After Later Audio, both of which are very dear to us here at Patchworks. The Bleep Bloop 2000 is what I would call, and I believe also what Tim Held would call, an exploration module, and mostly because it doesn't have pitch tracking, so you do a lot of noodling here with these pots, uh, tuning your oscillators. So what the module is, is a quad oscillator module with a single output and four pitch inputs, a VCA input and a crossfade input. And it's an analog module, so it's got analog oscillators in it. And the waveforms that it offers are sine to triangle to square. And you move through those waveforms via the crossfade module here and by toggling splarf from one to splarf two. And at splarf one, it's all triangles if you turn it to the far left and all sines if you turn it to the right. And in splarf two, it's all squares. And on the right, it's two sines and two triangles. I'll give you some sound examples here in a moment after I'm done talking about this hilariously designed module, which is kind of a almost a meme of Euro rack. It's given me some laughs and I've had a lot of fun exploring with it. And so if you turn these all down, these oscillators are all, you know, running at about zero Hertz, but at about 12 o'clock, each one of the oscillators goes into audible rate. So roughly 50 Hertz or so. I'm going to patch it up for us so we can have a listen. So I'm taking the output here, plug it into my mixer. I'll turn up just one oscillator. Right now we have it on sine wave. And uh, now I have it over at a triangle. But if I start bringing some other ones in, here we go. <laughs> there we have a nice little chord. So I could take that chord and send it some random CV coming out of the Maestro here, going into the built-in VCA. And um, it's smooth random, so it's got some nice envelope potential here, or, or it kind of feels like an envelope. Um, the Maestro can work as an envelope generator, so it's doing a pretty decent job at this. But if I have it not smooth, we get some like, it feels a lot more rhythmic as you turn the smooth off here. You could take another LFO and get it to the crossfade. I go to Splurf 2 and get some of those square waves in there. The first thing I did with it the moment that I got it, besides having a nice chuckle, was I took the output, I ran it into a molt, I took the one of the outputs of that molt and put it back into my mixer, and then I took those outputs and started feeding those outputs back into the inputs. And um, I did that to all of them because I knew that it would have the effect I wanted if I modulated them all with their own signals. So I, what I'm doing is frequency modulation here. So I'm FMing all the oscillators together with the same. So the, this makes some really crazy sounds because it's four different oscillators and I'm FMing them all and you can change the pitch of them all, but there's only one output. So they're really, it just really starts going nuts. I'll take this uh, patch out of the VCA. And that's pretty cool. Sounds like I'm bleep blooping. Bleeping. Let's give it 
get some reverb. Okay, that's cool. So that's the first thing I did with it. I wanted to share that with you. <laughs> We're bleeping and blooping again. Bleep Bloop 2000. Get them while you can. Thank <laughs> you. 